Hello everyone, it's Hungry Masha. Recently I made a review of the best goulash in Budapest. And today I decided to share with you the recipe of the authentic Hungarian goulash. Are you ready? Let's go! go, 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 go. Every cook in Hungary has its own recipe of goulash. And it was very difficult to find a good one. Today I'm going to share with you the recipe of Karoy Gunde, who popularized the Hungarian cuisine. First I'm going to make the broth. It's the base of our soup. For the broth I take 800 grams of beef bones with meat. Bone broth contains more minerals, more vitamins and it has a richer flavor. We pour some water to cover the meat. And we put it on to boil. The water started boiling. We will boil it for 5 minutes and then we will remove this water and pour new water into the pot. We pour fresh water into the pot. And we put it on to boil. I will also add some vegetables. I have uh, two small onions. You can take one big onion and the one uh, carrot. I add some salt and bay leaf, two bay leaves. When the water starts boiling, I remove this foam that appears on top of the soup. We need to do it to make the soup more transparent. I reduce the heat to the lowest possible and I cover the broth with a lid. I will cook it for two hours. We can start preparing the goulash itself. To begin with, I will fry the onions. I'm using pork fat, it gives more flavor to the soup. And I put one big sliced onion into the pot. When it becomes golden, I'm switching off the gas and I add paprika powder, two tablespoons. It's important to switch off the stove to avoid burning the paprika. At the same time, the fat is still hot and paprika is cooking. I put this pot aside and I will prepare the meat for goulash. I have 800 grams of beef thigh. You can also take beef shoulder or any other cut that requires slow cooking. I cut the meat into small cubes, one and half to two centimeters. Now I'm going to fry the meat with one tablespoon of pork fat. We put the meat into the pan and fry it until it becomes brown. We add the fried meat into the onions. Now we add our warm broth. The meat should be stewed in the broth, not boiled. And as the water evaporates, we will beat a little bit more broth. I also add some spices, cumin and coriander and salt and pepper. I put two cloves of garlic into the soup and I cook it for one hour and a half, adding the broth if needed. In the meantime I'm going to cut the vegetables, one pepper, one carrot and three medium potatoes. One and a half hours after I started stewing the meat, I add the vegetables. I also add one tablespoon of tomato paste and I cover the vegetables with the broth. And I cook the soup for another 30 minutes. For the traditional goulash I need to make homemade noodles, chipetki. I mix 70 grams of flour, some salt and half an egg. I knead the dough and form a sausage.
I cut it into small pieces. I add the noodles into the soup just before it's ready and boil them for 3 minutes. Our goulash is ready. I serve it with paprika paste for those who like it spicy. Thank you for watching us and see you soon.